Hello Pisces, this is your forecast of the week starting August 29th, 2016. And this also applies if you have a Pisces rising, also known as the Pisces ascendant. Pisces, quick reminder for you guys, I'm still doing my survey. I still am. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, I'm doing a survey. It's on my website, integrativemysticism.com, and it's all about what I might do to change these horoscopes up a little bit. Some people are liking the idea of me doing like a bi-weekly one, um, combining tarot and astrology at the same time, kind of getting a nice big chunk that you can come back and reference all that kind of stuff so um before you get ahead of me and assume what you know what i'm going to do go check out the website and give your feedback also don't forget tarot tutorships are on again i'm teaching a tarot class on friday it's an online class friday september 2nd at 12 p.m pacific standard time uh it will adjust to your time zone when you go to the calendar and make your reservations so you should check that out and let's get started with your session all right, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of the dreamer. Very interesting card. Um, because this is talking about, um, there's going to be some, something that you didn't think was going to manifest is going to manifest this week for you. Um, this could be beyond your wildest hopes. This could be something that you've actually kind of kept in the closet, uh, kept in your little memory box, you know, your sort of wouldn't it be nice kind of area. Um, and the dreamer card is saying this week, hold on a minute, you know, your bucket list needs to be given a bit of a priority. And this will actually be something that you can enjoy. In fact, the Dreamer card is kind of saying that um, you may have actually become a little bit jaded about this or bitter. Um, we all get jaded and bitter sometimes. And what happens with the Dreamer card, though, is like this is something that's going to be offered to you. Now, we have to make sure that it hasn't been so long or we've become so pessimistic that we reject the chance that it comes. You ever have that happen sometimes where it's like this person is so upset or so jaded or whatever about a situation. It's like they finally get a chance to have it. They're like, no, I don't want it anymore. Or no, I don't, it's not going to work. It's kind of like, okay, you just lost it. You just missed it. You just missed it. You know, um, don't do that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl. For your earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the moon card upright. This week, I want you to pay an extra bit of attention to what is not being said in your interviews or in your job hunts, because this can indicate that um, a prospect is not what it seems. Now, that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It's just that the job description that's being laid out for you is not the complete job description. And you may be finding out there are obligations that are extra um, that may be actually be more profitable um, or they might be, you know, incompatible with the schedule you thought you were going to be able to maintain at this job. So this week we have to do some extra exploring. For those of you who are currently not looking for new work, the moon card upright is saying be careful about biting off on a prospect um, that is coming in an uncomfortable hurry. This might be a financial deal or a new job offer, but again, not all the details are being made known to you. We currently have Mercury retrograde by this point in time um, going into your seventh house of partnerships, um, and this can indicate uh, binding contracts and agreements as well. So, you know, it's very important to make sure that people are being transparent and as transparent as possible when it comes to work and money. For your communications with air, but you have the page of wands, upright, beautiful card, because this is talking about an opportunity to actually get invited to a group gathering. Um, this might be a networking group. This might be a celebration of some kind. But the bonds that you make here will last you quite some time. Um, this might actually be something that gives your career a boost. This may actually have, you know, open up romantic opportunities or educational opportunities or artistic opportunities for you. Uh, but this is definitely going to be laid on the table about midweek. And I definitely want you to make sure you are available. For your challenges week with fire, again, we do have the two of wands up right. We all have to be explicit in our speech. I mean, I think that that's not necessarily the, the hardest thing to ask for. Um, but the challenge here is to be explicit or to, you know, ex demand explicitness when people are talking to you. OK, uh, because sometimes with the two of wands as a challenge, we can kind of see where people are, you know, playing hinting games. They're being subtle or you should know or you need to figure this out. or It doesn't mean anything if I have to tell you. And I mean, people don't just do that in one area of life. People just do that to, you know, it's kind of like a manipulation thing that they do. Um, I don't know where in our DNA it is, but it is. And I think that with the two of wands as a challenge, it's basically saying, you know, don't be afraid to, to demand explicitness, um, especially when it comes to these like kind of speculative kind of situations in your financial life um, or even in your romantic life as well. Um, because I think that people, wires are going to get crossed in our communications. You know, some people um, are really going to be needing to have those wires checked, and I hope that you can help them do that. 
for your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Queen of Swords inverted. Um, this card can indicate for single Pisces people to be careful about somebody who, again, we talked about, bitterness seems to be coming up as a theme. Watch out for people who are still so bitter about maybe something that happened in their past that they're not wholly available to do something in the present. Um, sometimes the Queen of Wands inverted can show up where somebody is trying to kind of go through the motions of getting into a relationship, start dating again, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, but they're not really 100% present. And it doesn't mean that this is necessarily a bad person, but, you know, you don't want to go into a situation where it's kind of all about their ex when you're the new person. You deserve it. You deserve a clean slate. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Queen of Swords inverted is a little bit different. Uh, either you or your partner will bring up a matter that um, somebody's not over yet. Okay, we may have thought that this problem was solved, or you know the the, the issue was solved, but this is something that's that's not over in their mind. It's still present in, in you know, and if you're self-aware, this might be in your mind. It might as well have happened yesterday, even if it happened six, seven years ago. Um, and so I kind of feel like we do need to work on healing this or communicating this. But again, let's not tap dance around the issue. Let's make sure that we can handle this calmly, objectively, and you know, again, explicitly so that we can try to get this buried, you know, for good. And sometimes, you know, it's important for a person to understand when all avenues are exhausted and everything's, everyone's done everything they can, the only one who is standing between them and finally moving on is themselves. But you don't have to start with that kind of tough love. Be nurturing, be empathetic at first, um, and then see where it goes. Okay? So that is your forecast, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know, I appreciate it. And of course, if you'd like to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.